Hi everyone, Claire Horner here for the Ice Resin Creative Team and I'm just here with a new video project for you today so I hope you enjoy. Today I'm going to show you how to make resin stick to iced enamels. I've had a few people ask me how do you make it stick because it seems to peel away and basically the science behind it is that Resin doesn't really stick to certain kinds of plastic, which is why you use plastic bags underneath to protect your work surface, or you use a, a Teflon craft mat. Iced enamels are basically made of a similar substance, and once they've actually been heat set, they become like plastic. And that's why resin will peel away from it over time, because it's not got something to adhere to it, it hasn't got tooth. So I'm going to show you how to stop it from happening and so you can get a beautiful finish like this. Okay to begin with use the medium. I like to use it on a piece of cut and dry foam because I think you get better adhesion rather than using a paintbrush. And I like to just put a bit on and rub it in. And once it's soaked in, then that is ready for me to use. Next, I will take the piece and I will give it a quick sand. And I want to roughen this beautifully flawless finished surface up, which will help the enamels stick to the resin, uh, stick to the metal mark. So I'm just going to put some scratches in. I'm not using any sort of fancy sandpaper; it's just a really gritty one. You can see all the scratches there. Next, I'm going to sponge on the medium. And I'm going to give that a moment just to go tacky and set. Once it's looking like it's pretty much starting to dry and get really tacky, I'll put it on a piece of scrap paper and sprinkle on the powder. In this case, I'm using the chartreuse. If you have sticky fingers at any point from the medium, make sure you just wipe them off with a baby wipe so your powder, excess powder doesn't stick to it. I'm going to give it a little tap because I don't want to thick coat him. So now we've got it like this. Fully covered. Normally what you'd do is you would heat it and set your powder. But at this point, I want something for the resin to stick to. So I'm gonna brush across the edge and I've done it quite a lot wider than what you would do, but this is just for example. And I'm brushing some of that powder off, just like that. Now this gives the barrier that once your powder is set, your resin will touch the metal and it will adhere to the metal. <laughs> it will adhere to the metal <laughs> and it won't resist and peel off. Come on, get in. So once I've heated that, I will use my throwaway brush 
and brush on. For the chartreuse one, I use the cactus green stays on. And you will see on this piece, you can see where I brushed off a little bit too much powder there, but I've coloured it with the chartreuse, uh, with the cactus green. And you can't tell. So I hope that I've explained how the enamels work and how to make resin stick to your piece permanently when you're using iced enamels. Thanks for watching. Bye.